Hello Zaniacs, I am Lady. I'm Marshall. We're gonna go back to my high school days in the 90s, and yes, I just told you exactly how old I am. Today we're gonna talk about The Mall by Megan McCafferty. To the mall. It kind of is all like that. So The Mall takes place only in The Mall, in the 90s. Our main character, her name is Cassie, and I only remember her name because I just finished reading this book like a couple days ago. Cassie and her boyfriend uh, have a plan. And the plan is they're going to graduate high school, they're going to go to college in New York, one of them is going to go to Columbia, and one of them is going to go to Barnard, and they're right across the street from each other, and they have their life plan all done. Cassie gets mono um, right after she, well, actually before she graduates, and she can't go to prom, she can't go to graduation, and she can't work for like six weeks at the job that she has at the mall at the cookie company with her boyfriend. So on her first day back, after her boyfriend's already been working there for six weeks, she goes to work and finds out that her boyfriend has been cheating on her for at least six weeks, Which, if not more. Yeah, um, when did he have mono? Yeah, so <laughs> there's that. Uh, anyway, the mono isn't really that important, but what's important is that she now can't work at the cookie company because that would be with her boyfriend. And she doesn't want to see him because he's a selfish jerk. Because he actually, like, what floored me about this was he actually acts like they're still together the whole time. And she says something like, oh, we should go watch this concert, like Morrissey. We should go watch this concert at the end of the summer before we leave. And he's like, let's just get through the summer. And we were like, but, all right. She needs a job. So she goes to work for uh, a boutique doing their books because apparently whoever did it for them before like really messed up it was like their cousin right so the person who owns the boutique and her daughter were really good friends of the main character Cassie um but then the daughter like just started acting to like snobby like she wasn't like in a clique or anything she just stopped really hanging out with her so they are kind of a little bit estranged and because our main character Cassie is such a nerdy girl and in like math club and all of those other things. She is pretty smart. So this the girl she works with says, you know what, you're gonna help me on a treasure hunt. And the treasure hunt starts with Cabbage Patch dolls. So the treasure hunt takes place completely in the mall and how they find all of the treasure is so funny. And what happens in between the times of them finding a treasure is it was everything that I wanted it to be when it comes to like the 90s, right? So this is this is coming out at a time where the mall, the idea of the mall is coming into more prominence, not only with Stranger <laughs> Things, but the next Five Nights at Freddy's game takes place in a mall in the 90s. So uh, yeah, it's a pretty big concept and I right. like the idea of this, like treasure hunt is fun. And a treasure hunt in a mall, like, just narrowing down your story into one location just makes it kind of fun. Mm -hmm. Especially if that location has secrets. It does. It does have secrets. Oh, good. Yes. Um, now, I, I just loved this book because it was so fun and it was, like, so nostalgic and it just resonated with me so much because of the time period that I was in high school in the 90s. I graduated in 94, so this... You know, she said she goes to Sam Goody and she sees posters for Wilson Phillips, and I'm like, oh, yes! So, for yeah. me, this was, like, completely me in this book. Mm -hmm. And I totally gave it five stars because I loved it so much, but I bet you other people will read this and be like, you know, it was okay. It was all right. I think it was just how you connect to the book. Yeah, so this, this one for you is, like, how Ready Player One is for me. Mm-hmm. It's very much 80s and 90s, that side of that culture. Yeah, This yeah. is your side of that culture. Yeah, exactly. You know, in the, 90s, in the 90s, we hung out at the mall in high school. Like, it's just what we did. We didn't shop. We just, you know. You just went there. We just went to the mall. Yes. Um, that's exactly what this is all about, too. So, But it's also about the fact that everyone who goes to school in this area either works at the mall or works at the pier because there's not a lot of places. So, th and that fact it's like their entire world is half at the mall or half the other way so hmm. there is that so yeah like i said i gave it five stars and i think you guys should check it out because it was such a good funny read and i will leave all the information down below so until next time stay zany bye bye